My name is Kain Tandagenius and today we are going to be starting with tutorial 2 and we are going to be creating a new workspace. Now this is what a workspace looks like. You can actually do a whole lot of things in a workspace. In fact it seems like you can do so much in a workspace. There is no limit to what you can do in terms of analyzing data using a workspace. So, so Azure Machine Learning is really very good. But now this is not where we are. I'm going to close this and let us start from the scratch. So basically in tutorial one, we set up our free account and we are able to access Microsoft Azure portal. And today we are going to be creating a workspace in tutorial three, we now start creating an experiment. But you are going to learn about what all this actually means. Before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So hit the subscribe button below this video so that you subscribe and get notified that I make new lessons and also, if you subscribe, you kind of motivate me to keep making these lessons. All right, so let's go ahead to tutorial two, creating a workspace. Now I'm going to open up from where we stopped. So I think we stopped here. So we stopped somewhere here. We've been able to set up a free account and we're able to visit Azure portal. So Azure portal is more like a site that contains all of Microsoft Azure services, all the 600 services they created of which some of them are actually completely useless and some of them actually not working real well. So um, let me now continue with creating a workspace. A workspace is simply where you build your model, where you build experiments, where you create uh, uh, um, your data training pipe, uh, your training pipelines or workflows, where you play around with your data. So what they call it is, is a workspace. And Azure also complicated my, uh, things a bit by also calling it a workspace studio. So I don't really know why they do that. So let's let's just get started. So workspace space is an environment. Now in this uh, my website, you have every everything step by step you are going to follow. A workspace allows you to create experiments. So now let's go ahead to create a workspace. Always. Keep in mind that you are going to be in this AI and machine learning. Let me enlarge the screen a bit. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't work. Okay, so you're always gonna be in this place. So go ahead to click on AI and machine learning. Now here you have machine learning studio web services. You have machine learning services workspace. You have machine learning studio workspaces. Uh, so you see what I'm saying? So what you are going to click on here it says click on machine learning studio workspaces. Now I actually played around with a, a uh, by creating a workspace or workspaces. So once you click on it, machine learning studio workspaces, that is step three at this point, and you'll see any workspace you created is gonna appear here. So just click on add. For you, you might not see anything if you are just starting and also learn how to make no mistake, try to follow everything exactly as I follow it or as I specified in this in the tutorial. So click on add, as this plus sign here, just click on add. And once you click on add, it gives you an option to create the workspace. Now, you need to use a workspace, a name that does not exist. So let me try workspace three. So let me use workspace three. I'm not sure is there. Subscription is gonna be free trial because we are using a free trial and resource group. Uh, now I have resource groups I created, but for you, just click on create new and just give it a name. Let's call it resource group. Resource group two, resource group three, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna say okay. And you have resource group three workspace is okay. Workspace, workspace pricing pair is okay. Um, we also have workspace service plan, create new is fine. If I use as this thing, uh, we have a number of them I created before, but let's leave it as create new because for you is okay. Then go ahead to the pricing tier and click on the first one that says standard pricing tier. So actually you have free, uh, free $200 or euros uh, for now, I don't know exactly. So now after setting up all this, let me just check what notification is this. Okay, I have 169 uh, remaining, so that's fine, no problem. So after filling everything, just click on create. So once you click on create, depending on the speed of your Internet Explorer uh, and a different other factors. So let me just go ahead to go back to where we are. 
sorry uh, so so sometimes this thing gets lost no problem so um so it's, i can see is deploying if i click on this place you can see deployment in progress so let me just come back here I'm actually uh okay so we just have to wait for a little time so you can see uh deployment is on the way so it's actually building up a workspace but you need to allow it to complete creating this workspace after creating it so you can see here this this is a workspace plan is it is different from the workspace it's also creating the workspace storage it has to create this workspace storage and the result group has to be created you need you know we specified all these things uh when we filled in the workspace uh, 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 details in the text boxes so let's see so after creating the workspace it's going to deploy it and then we will be able to play around so a number of things is complete all right so perfect so everything is perfectly okay all right so at this point what you can do just go back to this place and go to workspaces workspaces like machine learning studio workspace so if I at this point we can you can see workspace tree the one we created just now uh yeah so this workspace tree so just click on it and, and open it up okay so the steps are right here for you and this is where we are at this point so at this point we come to uh, our workspace but this is a workspace and we want to get to the workspace studio so i'm going to just click on launch machine learning studio so this is called is in the, the directory studio that azure ml.net so if you come to this place i don't know why we have to continue signing in so just click on sign in and it will take you to the studio and that is an interesting thing if you get to this point it means you've come to machine learning or uh, workspace studio or machine learning studio all right so now we are in the studio all right so i'm going to kind of expand it okay so for you uh while it's showing me this at this point i don't know it should not be showing this it should not be showing this it's projects experiments okay so while it's showing this one at this end uh i don't know because this is something i worked with before so this is workspace one i actually should be in workspace three so it should be showing a blank workspace with nothing there in any way yeah uh like this right so if you come up to this point so you can see nothing is there so i'm ready to now start creating new experiments and if you've gotten this to this point we've completed tutorial two I'd like to thank you for viewing. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed, please. And leave me a comment if you have challenges. Make sure you let me know if you have challenges. I'm going to help you out. Now in the tutorial three, please remember to move on to tutorial, tutorial three. We are going to continue with building experiment. But before then, I'm going to explain to you what a project is, what experiment is, what web services is, what notebooks are, you know, data sites, train model, and stuff like that. So don't run ahead. Don't go ahead to start trying out things. You will get confused. You get overwhelmed. Let's just do it together. So just follow me or uh, follow along in my lessons, and we we'll move on to the next step. In the next step, we are going to start creating experiments. So thank you for viewing, and hit the subscribe button and like and share this video, and leave me a comment if you have any challenges. Cheers.